a play by Williams. Few things are as exciting for Celtics power forward Grant Williams as nailing a big shot. In February, Williams got a similar rush, surprising local business owners with checks for $25,000. Oh the money, granted by the Boston Celtics Shamrock Foundation and Vistaprint in collaboration with the NAACP, was awarded as part of the second round of the Power Forward Grant Program. It's part of a, a larger outreach effort that we have called Celtic United, and it's a small business grant for Black-owned businesses in New England. Some grant winners have already had a bit of buzz, including here on Chronicle. Take Alston-based Rock City Pizza. The grant Are you serious? Power While others have been a bit more underground. Let's go. Hey, hey, let's turn it up. My name is Alisa Paulette Primavera. I am a fitness professional, and the name of my business is called In Shape Incentive LLC. Primavera has been providing a range of wellness services for years, generally above ground. We had a great studio going. We were servicing people ages 5 through 70, and then COVID hit, and within a matter of days, everyone had just stopped coming to the studio, and we quickly had to shut down after that. While many would have thrown in the towel, Primavera got creative, moving her services online and direct to people's homes, calling on the strength that brought her into this field in the first place. I used to be a heavy set person. One day I just decided I had had enough. Back in those days, gyms used to cost a lot of money. So I just started running outside. I stopped eating junk food. Just slowly started making changes. It's that kind of dedication that Primavera draws out of her clients who have kept her afloat while she applied for grants to survive the pandemic. Then a call from the Celtics and this thrilling news caught on tape. I actually am so excited to tell you that you have already been granted the Power Forward Small Business Grant. You are one of our recipients and I'm just so excited to get to be here and just tell you congratulations. Oh my God. I cried. <laughs> That was, it was just life changing, you know, for me. I hope to reopen, um, reopen my business. Why is this important to the Celtics? You know, you can't win a championship every year, but you can always make that commitment to the community, right? One player trying to win a championship banner and help the community is Williams, who had the pleasure of handing out a few of those $25,000 checks including to Cupcake Therapy owner Sharonda White, who believed she was shooting a commercial for the Celtics Jumbotron when this happened. Today, we are proud to announce we are the recipients of... What? You did it! <laughs> we caught up with Sharonda at the Urban Farming Institute, where she rents kitchen space to discuss how she got here and what's next. Cupcake Therapy is a premium, nut-free, allergy-friendly cupcake company. When I started, I actually didn't love baking. <laughs> it was more so, I'm a foodie, I have a lot of allergies. I've had uh, situations at different bakeries and restaurants in, in Boston. I just started baking for myself. However, when COVID put her financial tech company on ice, things heated up in the kitchen. And so I just put up a website and just told friends, if you want to buy some cupcakes, here's the site. And they started buying them. They started telling their friends they started buying them. And at that point, it just kind of took off. Now with the Power Forward grant, White is hoping to reach new heights. I am so excited to be able to create a space where anyone can come, whether you have allergies or not. When we open Cupcake Therapy this summer, the actual storefront, um, it's going to be because of this grant. Raising or getting funds, of course, crucial for any new small business, but so is finding the right staff. Yes, well, fortunately for Sharonda White and her cupcake therapy, <laughs> her mother moved from, down from Atlanta to Massachusetts to help her daughter start this business. So nothing like a mother's love, right? Mom helps to save the day. That's <laughs> nice. Up next, how does a million-dollar grant sound?